Removal. Remove the two rubber feet from the rear corners of the base enclosure. Remove the four 8.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Remove the seven 6.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Starting with the edge of the base enclosure with the power button on it, carefully release the retention clips on the outer edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Caution. It may be necessary to flex the edge of the base enclosure to remove the HDMI connector from the cutout in the base enclosure. Lift the base enclosure until you gain access to the USB board ZIF connector. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the USB board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the base enclosure. Replacement Note, before installing a new base enclosure, remove the following from the old base enclosure and install on the new base enclosure. USB board. Place the base enclosure onto the top cover so that you have access to the USB board ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the USB board ribbon cable into the USB board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Tow the HDMI connector into the cutout in the base enclosure and lower the base enclosure into position on the top cover. Press down on the edges of the base enclosure to snap it into place. Replace the seven 6.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Replace the four 8.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Place the two rubber feet into position on the rear corners of the base enclosure.